This will be setup of TP-Link's outdoor switch. To start, we come up to the upper right hand corner and select the plus sign. And then we come down to device. So this is the works with Casa. We're gonna say, got it. And it's giving us a selection of things. So we are going to select right here. It is a smart plug. It is the outdoor smart plug, but it's still a smart plug. And here we can actually see it. Smart plug outdoor or smart plug outdoor with two outlets. I have the one with two outlets. So we're gonna select that. Next, we're going to plug in our outlet. We get a click sound. We see flashing, so we were going to select next because we see flashing. It's saying, is it flashing orange and green as we established before? Yes, it is. Orange and green. And now it should be connecting. We'll bring this over here and kind of bring this into view. App wants to temporarily connect to Wi-Fi that this is creating, so we're gonna say yes, and it has connected successfully to it, after which it wants us to select the Wi-Fi network that we're putting it on. So I'm going to quickly put in my IoT network. And once I put in the credentials for my IoT network, we're going back to connecting. It is flashing green now. So I'm hoping green means good. And we're just gonna wait for that to do what it's doing. And hopefully it will not take too long to actually pair up to my network. All right, this will be attempt number three to set up the outdoor plug. So I'm not going to walk you through all the steps because you already know what we're trying to do. I'm going to plug this in. Plugged in, I heard the click, flashing, next, yes. And it's going to try and connect. All right, connect. We're connecting to the Wi-Fi network that it made. Connection successful. Now we need to select our Wi-Fi network and then plug in our credentials for it and select join. And it's throwing me up this error message. I open up settings and I select the network and then I come back and we'll see if it actually does anything this time. All right, no thanks. It is connected to Alex A, which is great. And we're gonna flip it over here and it is showing white, so that means it's connected. I don't know if I'm gonna show it all, but this was the third attempt to get this on board in the app. Not quite as easy as uh, I remember Casa being. And if I don't normally set up as many of these, I might have given up and moved on to a different plug. So TP-Link might want to look at your onboarding process. From the setup, might be a little hard to see. We can add a plug identifier. So we're just going to call this TP-Link 1 and TP-Link 2. After signing a name, you can select a visual representation if you wanted to or from your album and camera. I'll go over that in the app section. And then we just went through the same naming process for the secondary plug. We're gonna select next. And congratulations, you are confirmed. So, sounds good. And that now adds it to my Casa app. And of course there's a firmware, so we are going to update the firmware, but I won't make you sit through that. So once you name it and update the firmware, that actually completes the setup process for the TP-Link outdoor plug.